When I believe the night world, my name is Mike Nahira. Belize City, life in Bermelani Village. You know, my grandfather, we live in a small house, 14 by 18. And much about, I was about 600 years, my grandpa, brother, uncle, um, Lazarus Baisa, we call her, Tuta. And his wife, Miss Maxine, lived there. I was about 600 yards, yards on the right hand side. And my grandpa and nephew, this man named Valen, Valen um, Pope, when we call him Mr. Baling. Now he have he have this folk, but he have uh, like 500 layers. And so we used to go assist. Can you have Lane Marsh and we used to go assist Sam McCallin? He went can pick up from Monday to Sunday. He pick up 500 eggs and he sell some, he eat some, fry some, buy some, give away some. And the boy, you know, we know about it, they work. And that summer, I remember my uncle, that's like Karen, she had me to cook. And every night, <laughs> when summer, the boy said, well, we need meat, but we don't have no meat. So they said, well, we have started to tifo baling chicken eh? every night we go and we take one five chicken but then why three and we have to block them chicken neck eh? as you grab the chicken you have to block it because Mr. Baling him he got one 22 rifle one with cool and then he done it say already that anybody mess with him or go in for him for cool thief any chicken he want to put one 22 bullet in the back side hmm. and when I hear that I tremble I say oh my god I know why get tangled up in a damn kind of situation there. Hmm. And so, they have this guy, Kevin Flowers, in the kind of Barbie. He begin to teach you how to block the chicken neck. As you grab the chicken, you block it next year time, crack. Because if you're not, you can't afford to make the chicken ball and make nice and all that, to make nice because Mr. Baling will come with a 22 rifle. And he's a man serious, he never joke. He's a like, he an engine, like he makes the white, he makes the white car. And so every night, we see for five chicken. And we buy water, soak them in, pick them. We got people who pick. And we got, um, we never used to got potato, like Irish potato. So we may have farm. Yes, and then um, we got a big green plant in there, and a white plant in there. And we got people who cut them up in a long slice and they put salt and black pepper, they fry it up. While the chicken the fry, I, might, I tell all men that we invite a lot of people in the village. Every night from Monday to Sunday, we kill five, we five chicken and kill. And we don't notice that every time five chicken they go, five chicken they go, five chicken they go, the chicken they start to get leave it and leave it and leave it and leave it. And we gone, we begin to take them chicken, begin to teeth them chicken. Tell, you we begin, Mr. Baling say, you begin to see speed. He said when he had the 500 layers there, when everybody jam up together shoulder, shoulder to shoulder or neck to neck, you couldn't see space in the, in the full run, in the full cup. But all of a sudden he started to see space. And one night he come across and I'm um, up away there. And he tell you, he said, you know, something happened. He said, believe that somebody ate for the chicken there. But the man comes so unexpectedly, thank God we may done cherry island feather and clean the guts and the chicken and think. Uh, the man may a catch me. But we always have somebody on the watch that if Mr. Balin comes, somebody has a boy. Balin, they come, girl, Balin, they come, hiding thing, hiding thing. And Mr. Balin said, but Mr. Balin is a stammer. He said, he believes that somebody thief for the chicken. <laughs> and he talked to me, and he talked to Allen Boy, and I was one of the masterminds behind it. <laughs> and the, 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 the funny thing is, Mr. Balin complained that when he had 500 chicken, and then neck to neck and shoulder to shoulder, and you couldn't see the space in the full cup. But now the full cup, they start to see space. That means the chicken and they get less. And he said he knows somebody thief them, but he was set to a trap. I tell him, boy, when he had that boy, I could stop, because we had take a bullet, don't know, we had take a bullet, and we may even die. And Mr. Balling said, I, 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 I only hope that no, 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 yeah. The thief of my chicken and cause our put, put my bullet on the backside, one twenty-two bullet. Hmm. 
And my heart jumped, my heart to tremble like it. My heart on a dumb buff, I vein them, boy. So one night now, we invite Mr. Balling, Mr. Balling, they go off. Come again, you know, and then tell you how they need chicken, and they get leave it and leave it. And then, boy, then sometimes they boy, they carry a whole sack. One of them be a side bag, they put sugar in it. And they bring a full with one chicken, but they don't block the neck of them. Tell them, boy, I got too much chicken already. Can't bring no six, seven, eight, nine, ten chicken in the night. And Mr. Balling come over there one night again and tell you, <coughs> within two weeks, the chicken then they get. Leave it, leave it, because it's also a lot of empty space in the for run. Hmm. He said, I just hope that no, oh no. I will tell Mr. Balling, no man, Mr. Balling. We not take your chicken, man. We respect your man. You know, for we grandpa and nephew, we not do you that. And then I meet that master, man, <laughs> they broke all the chicken neck then. Ay, ay, ay. I don't want to laugh away. But Bobby, he's not the master, 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 man. He's not the master, man, or all master, man. I'm so balling come across then. One night, don't look at we got fried planting, planting chips. And then, boy, they don't fry up them chicken. And then, deciding again, balling, <laughs> then, then, deciding again, so balling some food. I tell them, no, no. If you don't get balling fried chicken here, no. That we, the tea fish fried chicken, I mean the tea fish chicken, then, are we gonna give a chicken? And then, here, when you go in here, put one I want to get, I say, but wait. When I go across and mic them, you know something? Mike then gave me planting chips with fried chicken. And then I noticed my chicken, I mean, got 500 layers. And they, when they head to head, neck to neck, they, you can't see nobody, shoulder to shoulder, neck to neck. But normally they fall cold, they get empty. And we're straight that, you know, when I got across there, Mike then gave me um, planting chips with fried chicken. And if a man's smart and if he's sharp, yeah, I know that, that we, the tea for chicken there. Eh? And then people like we get and you know they give the man every night they start to give the man fried chicken long with planting chips and I tell him boy you know the fool are wrong and the man said you know I he tell me one time he said Mike you know I got a feeling I'll eat me one chicken <laughs> I tell him it's a balling I don't think so man I don't think they buy any teeth for chicken man all I have relatives and a family you not know, do that he said oh okay, I got one to do bullet and put it on the back side and not the plate and I tell him one well, time I had the race, ding, 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 ding. I had the beat of that timing. I said, oh my God. I'm telling people, stop. Now look at them. People don't care eat baling chicken right down to most of the Out of 500, most nearly 200. I'm so baling decided that he had started to sleep by the full cob. Well, you not really sleep, but yeah, take a knee rest there and take a nap there. And then he got 22 rifle and the man serious, you know. I'm telling my boy, hmm. I saw the teeth in fried chicken thing done, but... <coughs> You know, when you're young, you're mischievous, idle, not the work, nothing there for do, no TV there for watch, on the radio, and then I breed up Billy, Seferino, Seferino, Coleman. And so we may idle, 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 and they will find a thing for idle hands, though. So that is life again in Bermuda Landing.